Well, I've been here, I think it's almost 10 years overall. I've been doing a, about a year worth of care beforehand, so I was still quite new. And uh, someone that I was working with got a job at Catherine House and she recommended me. And I was quite reluctant at first because I, I was a bit frightened, to be honest with you. Um, you know, thinking that I'm quite new to care and would I be good enough? But she talked me into it and it's, it's the best thing I did. I think, I think I can honestly say it's the best job I've ever had and I've worked in quite a few places. Well, the first thing I noticed was the ethos, ethos of the whole um, of Catherine House. They seemed to go beyond the normal care. It wasn't just a job. You know, they, they really did care. They genuinely cared and they put extra effort in and they supported each other and they supported the team. So although I was worried at starting at first, uh, it, it, it was lovely, it was seamless. You, you know, the support was excellent and you felt valued from the outset. So I was very, very impressed. My role is seeing patients at home and supporting them in whatever way. It might be from straightforward personal care, but also to sort of monitoring their well-being and seeing how the family are doing, supporting the family as well, moral support, emotional support, feeding back, which is very, very important. Part of the role is doing night sits as well. That's when we'll go out and we'll sit with the patient for nine hours overnight. Um, we stay awake <laughs> and uh, sometimes it can be a quiet night, other nights it can be extremely busy and you really see the the difficulties that some families have. Uh, you know that you're there to give someone a break because they're having to do that maybe night in, night out. One or two nights break every now and again can be just enough to keep them going. So it's a, it's, it's a really uh, important service. Um, another part of the role is uh, sits during the day. It might be a couple of hours usually. That gives the main carer a chance to get out and do things they need to do. They don't always have to leave the house. Sometimes it's just a break. They can go and have a sleep. They can go into the garden, they can read, they can do anything. We sit with their loved one, make sure that they're safe. Um, and, uh, you know, sometimes we, we entertain them as well, because they like a chat. You do meet some incredible people and you, and you hear some amazing stories. Uh, you know, there's a lot. A lot of people with a lot of background, you know, a lot of a lot of life, and it's great to hear. Great to see the families as well, all different ages. Uh, quite often, you really do feel almost a part of the family. It's it's so close. The favourite, but now I was asked this the other day, and I'm trying to think what I said because I might choose a different one now. <laughs> I find it hard to say because, in different ways, I I enjoy all aspects of it. But at the same time, there's other, uh, those same aspects can be quite difficult, but I still enjoy them. I like doing the access visits. That's when we go to meet a family for the first time. They've been referred to the hospital and we go along and meet them for the first time. And our job when we do the access visit is to get enough information on the patients, on the environment, and uh, get a feel for what's happening, how the family are coping. Quite often the crisis occurs, uh, people haven't had to face up to care before. They've been struggling along on their own and suddenly it becomes very, maybe too difficult, they need help. But quite often they can be reluctant as well. So it can be our job to put their mind at rest, uh, to show that we're not going to walk in and take over. You know, that they're still in control, they're the centre of any care that's provided. and. Um, you know, we basically put their mind at rest. I think um, if you feel that you can do this sort of work, and I think more people can do it than think they can do it, uh, I would definitely apply for Catherine House. One, because of the support and the training. Uh, two, because it's such a lovely place to work and such a great team. So uh, I would say not to hesitate. If, if you half think of, of care, as a, a career, I would definitely go, definitely go to Catherine House.